Hey guys, we are on our way to Nanuki. We are going to visit family and we are going to drop off Pepper and Fatso while we start to make shifts in our lives. Yep. Have anything to say? You can't even see. <laughs> no. <laughs> we got cup holders, snacks and fruits. We're ready to go. about this trip we're making today? It's a positive trip, big changes, gonna yeah. miss these guys. Oh, I know. Um, it's been a while since I've driven a small car. It's not so small. Like, yeah, with the other one, I can't, I, can, I can't hear the tires, I can't feel the, <laughs> the, the surface with, with the way the tires are hitting down the surface. Yeah. It's not talking to you as much as it's just doing its job. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Nanyuki. Some days stoplights have meaning, and other days stoplights don't have any meaning. Yeah, on the topic of light, um, you find that uh, when the cup is there and the light is green, they might tell you to stop. Yeah. Depending on the the way the way they like it. Yeah. So you might they might tell you to stop, and then when it's red, that's when you go. So it sometimes it's so confusing when you mm -hmm. find. Yeah, there's also no lines. Kenya has so many ads with alcohol. Yeah, I know they're selling it. I'm just saying they have so many. Right now, you see a lot more white cap than anything else. So they bought this round of uh, a couple of months of billboard time. And then you'll see the next brand that'll probably try to fight for space. Matatus also drive so crazy. So there's two types of Matatus in Kenya, and the way you hear about them in the media are very different. I don't hear so much about these small ones, like the one in front of us, but the one on this left side and the green and all these big ones you're seeing, um, you see them a lot in the media, but every time you see them in the media, you see them as sexualized objects. If you saw Diplo came out here, um, and in his music video, he had a matatu that's like rocking. Then there's also that show called Big Mouth. Now that one obviously is all about going through changes and about these topics, but they also make matatus um, like sexualized. So the kids are really, really being fed content through TVs and music and YouTube all the time. Um, so I think it's like really important for people to be paying attention because what's the reason for them to say like matatus need to be represented this way when matatus are used for public transportation? Well, for me on the driving side, these people is like, 
I believe like they own Kenya. The Matatu drivers for sure. they own Kenya. Yeah. They won't be they can park any only. Um but you dare with your car go park that place. <laughs> you you be your car will be told. This road was built. Yeah. I think this road helped us a lot. It yeah. helped yeah. Kenya or Nairobi people. It, it's definitely connecting everybody and everything. Otherwise, even in Nairobi, everything is a its own little town and its own little village. Every section of it is different from the other. Yeah, this was Kibaki's time. Yeah. Yeah, that when this road was made. Not the third president. Yeah. Third president. So many trucks going. So many, look at all these. <laughs> so yeah. many lorries. We, we have um, a lot of trucks going on the road um, than any other country, I believe. Yeah? Of which I feel like it's the reason why you find a lot of those accidents because they drive it like a personal small car, you know? Mm. Some some drivers are so good though, yeah, but those yeah. are like the really few and very like larger ones that have been going for a long distance. Yes, uh, because there's there there's travelers who there's yeah. truckers who drive from one country to another. Some mm -hmm. come from South Africa all the way to Kenya. Yeah, they go so up good. north. Others go to Uganda. So like that one that you yeah, see, that there, those are big trucks. Yeah. Which in my family, we have a, I have an uncle. Yeah, too. we've been in his truck. He literally drives it like it's a little toy. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm scared of heights, so even being in it was really scary for me. I don't know how they do it. Some people literally don't want to communicate with you. They just don't want to use their lights. They don't want to do anything. They just want to do what they want to do. Yeah, and also, I believe there should be a law. At least he used his light. 
there should be a law for for people who are driving also super slow. Oh yeah, <laughs> super fast, super slow. The super slow forget. one really. There's yeah. people who forget they're driving. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they're they're fascinated with the scene or. They, yeah, they just distraction. Like, they're scared driving also. <laughs> You're operating heavy machinery when you drive a car, so. Because <laughs> because I believe when it's too slow, you can cause an accident mm-hmm. too fast. Yeah. So, just keep up with the speed, the way it is set. You gotta stay with the traffic, mm-hmm. the speed of the traffic. Mm-hmm. But not every car can keep up with it. And then also in Kenya, a lot of people still use things like doggies or, um, you know, and then there's people like this, yeah, people get on to the middle of the road and sell on the middle of the road. And you have like a million of these bumps. And also emergency roadworks, like they just appear from nowhere. Divergence? Those, no. Like, what do you mean? Roadworks. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Ro- yeah. They don't tell us ahead of time. They give us, like, very little warning. And you're lucky if there's not a lot of cars around you when it happens. Um, we have been working on a lot of music. Um, and that's the playlist we're playing here. So if you're a, a YouTuber out there, yeah, you want music for the videos. This this uh, this music would be out there for you to use. Yes. So now that is Ticker. If you want to go to Ticker Town, mm-hmm. that's where we are right now. The entrance and now we are almost out of this. Nairobi. Yeah. Farmer's party. Who is that? <laughs> Jenga dream. I learned that so many words um, that I've heard in my life in America are Swahili, like Jenga, Safari, Siri. Siri, yeah. always listening. Police. <laughs> then you find people who don't know what they're doing. When they, they really don't know <laughs> what they want. Like, so you gotta be very, very cautious when you're driving because you're mm-hmm. driving for a lot of people. You're driving for every truck that you see. You're the, you're the, you're the, Right side, uh, the right side. That all of that land uh, that is uh, pineapple. pineapple. Oh yeah, Del Monte has a crazy history in Kenya. funny to think about how certain regions have things that they grow and they're the best at growing those things. So expect weather to change uh, in every town we get close to. Oh yeah. Huh? yeah. Cause of Remember the... that we're also going higher. Yeah. Going higher is so crazy. Um, I think like different locations and heights can affect your mood um, a lot. So 
and like how much water you need to take. Don't be afraid to take stops. Um, so drink lots of water. Obviously be careful where you choose to stop, but don't be afraid to take them. Yeah, so more music, more good music for you can to yeah. start posting soon. YouTube and Spotify. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So guys, this vibe. is good life, good vibe, Ngai secret. Uh-huh. Ngai is the guy. Yeah, Ngai. <laughs> Ngai. Is um like the deity of Mount Kenya. So guys, that is Ngai secret. Enjoy. content they're getting for their channel. A good dress top mm-hmm. on your way and you it's best to pull over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a nice one. <laughs> You'll see bikers like coming straight at you sometimes. So it's good that now this road was uh, was expanded. Uh, used to be only a two-way road. Mm-hmm. Like two-way. Yeah, it was just two-way. It was like one side. Like this this side, basically. And now yes. there's this barrier, which is nice. It makes it a little bit more safer. And also faster to get out of Definitely. Traffic, if everybody's behaving <laughs> on the road. Yeah. Once you get out of Nairobi, things are so much easier. Like, it's still hard, but a little easier, I think.
I really like this song. Kind of reminds me of an elephant. Area people, a lot of people do fishing on this river that you're about to get to it. Yeah, yeah. You know, which yeah, yeah. supplies uh, fish for people who are, who are in this area. Yeah, they love fish. People, people carry the fish on the side of their cars, on the outside of their cars. <laughs> You can also get a lot of charcoal here. Uh, people yeah. selling charcoal. On the road, yeah. It's a good place to get that. Remember guys, I don't know if they are using their trees or planted trees, but uh, mm. or they are cutting down the forest. Mm. So I'm not promoting the charcoal business, but right. If you're here, <laughs> they seem to have a ton of it. <laughs> and in Kenya, every 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 area you're going to has like 20 people selling the same thing. Yes. So it's the way of business. So this area, you can come and chill there. Like this. And they can serve you fish. Yeah, yeah. This is fishy area. Yeah. It's like they all have little restaurants there. The river, a very big river, well known in Kenya. Look at these trucks fighting for space now. It's so nice because it connects so many things, like, and so many people now. But also, I know that so many sacrifices have had to be made to, to make this road, too. And, like, every village is different. Some people have really adapted to this road being here. And then other people don't know what this road means like they don't understand the dangers of it yeah, yeah. Um, you might find children just being led to play on the yeah road they side, just play so. on it because they used to play there before i'm sure yeah and so now it's like that i'm sure they didn't think that things would change so much but it has
Sagana has places to hang, mm -hmm. camping sites, and also a lot of food. You will see on the road that we are able to get so much food mm -hmm. to take home. Yeah, we do our shopping from the streets. black beans and, uh, and the rice
this. Hmm? It's the back window. <laughs> yes, we did some shopping. Now to the nearest gas station because some people want to use it. Yeah, so because the road is still under construction in some areas, you'll see some random divergence and then you'll see some cars coming straight at you when the arrows are pointing completely straight. So you just always have to be careful. Maybe that won't happen as much once the road is completely done, but for now. This place is so beautiful. So many people walk on the side of the road. I wish there was a better way to, to do that. Like so many bikers come out to this country <laughs> to bike it because they're told it's a good place to do that. And it's not the worst place, I don't think, but walking and biking on the side of the road is not the safest thing out here. <laughs> Was that fun, Pepper? <laughs> we got bananas. 100 shillings for the whole bunch. I think the higher we're getting up into the mountain, the, the less the fog is. But it can also just be because the time of day is just changing around noon most of the time. Pretty much everywhere it gets really sunny. Yeah, this is the land of bananas, as you can see on the side. Yes, yeah, so many bananas and fruits. Yeah. You guys, you gotta get bananas from here. Yeah, Super good. they're so good. Heading towards the the hill place. Yeah, yeah, you can see that hill. A lot of trucks get to they get stuck. get stuck here. Yeah, or they go so slow. It takes them so many days to get up this hill. And also here we are sharing the road, as you can see. Yeah, this is <laughs> one of those situations where maybe the divergence are not well known or indicated um, because as you can see there's still cars on the other side so you're like where are these ones coming from um, and then also makes you question if the other side's road is open yeah so uh, just in case you get to drive at night here yeah be very careful, be very careful. Now I think we're just back to one road. Yes. We're heading to Karatina Town. Yeah. Towards Karatina Town. Oh yeah, we're not even... <laughs> they haven't even done this road yet.
stressful. Yeah, it looked like it was really stressful. It's way in the back, just go in the back. Yeah, it's VIP. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Nico Caratina. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah, boy. Yeah. You should go, you should go. I don't know where he wants to go. So, uh, we came to a rest stop and one of the things about rest stops is there's not always toilet paper or something to wash your hands with so having those things is really important Looking at back there. <laughs> so, got a bad behavior. Spying, spying. Just staring. It's interesting that this advertisement is towards men, it seems like, out here. But this town is so populated with men. It is. That's why I'm like, it's so interesting. Because every time I come through here, I'm always like, wow, this town has so many men. But also it's because I think women are still like in the farms and stuff. Maybe, yeah. And the men just come to this town area. <laughs> So pretty, and it's getting so sunny. The clouds are always so close in Kenya. So as you've seen in almost every town, the cups are there. Yeah. It's like when you're entering or exiting <laughs> the town. They're always there. It's like the toll bridge. For yeah, they're like, like the that. toll people. <laughs> they're collecting money for this road. I love this dirt. They collected so much of it when they made this road. So beautiful.
Nyeri Junction, Nyeri Tugori Nyeri na Nyoki Junction. Mm. straight to go to Nyeri. Cool. Weren't we just in Nyeri? It's the whole area. I like this as Nyeri, uh, yeah. I was talking about my Nyeri town. Oh, I see. Nyeri. Nyeri is so beautiful. trolleys to yes, tuk -tuk. tuk tuks yes um everything goes at different speeds here yes. <laughs> It's 
so far. It's brand new. Got to enter Nanyuki, and then we saw that they made this new sign, so we wanted to come and check it out and take photos. It's cute. It's good to be back in Nanyuki. Are we gonna stop at the border too, or at the equator? At the equator. Yeah. All right. Now we gotta walk back. It's really hot. Really hot. <laughs> it's so hot, and it was so crazy because on the way here, it was like super foggy and mm -hmm. rainy and mm -hmm. sprinkling, and then once you got out of the the city, it started getting a little bit better. But uh, yeah. So now we're just gonna head into Nanyuki and um, go from there. So we'll see you back there. She made it. You made it. Thank Fatsu. Mm, a little Fatsu Watsu. Let her out. Freedom. This is your bed. This is. <laughs> so now they're out here. She's finding a place to do her businesses, and uh, they did great. So proud of them. Um, they enjoyed the whole ride. Pepper got to look out all the windows like she liked. Fatso did well. She's a very scared cat, so the fact that she even made this trip was awesome. She was very scared at the beginning, but she did really well at the end. And uh, we're gonna go visit mom and dad soon. Well, mom guy's already visiting. I had to make sure Pepper didn't do her business indoors or like in their yards. What are those? Sheep. Great to be here. They do like I usually do in karate. So this used to be your old dog house. And now... Uh... Dad. I'm fine. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Uh, this is shiny. Yes, it's very beautiful. Yeah, the sun is okay. Yeah, very yeah. first time. Mm. How was the journey? Long. Yeah. But it was it was good because the roads are nice now. Mm. And um, it took us three and a half. Okay. Mm. Otherwise, yeah. you are fine here? Yes. I'm, yeah. I'm even like these things are so tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are tall. So she's already found the shamba. <laughs> where, where were you? Enjoying herself. Hey. Go, go, go. What are you guys making? Uh, these are the women of the village. <laughs> <laughs> we have Warogoro. <laughs> we have Audrey. And we have Marako. <laughs> this is in Jockey. Mm. Yeah. This side we have a farm. Wow. 
village shopper. <laughs> Spinach, lettuce, it looks good. Do you know what this is? This one? Mm. No, skooma maybe? Skooma is you. This is, this is the sunflower. Sunflower, oh it's fallen. <laughs> it's heavy. Onions, spring onions. A beautiful day. And then the corn. All the corn. We have sweet potatoes down there. Yeah. Normally Mount Kenya is right there, but uh, she's hiding today, like every day. Yeah, we're trying to finish mom and dad's house. Help out. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, mini juju. Been a long time. After I bought food, she will go there. Yeah. No. You don't like the dog, huh? Bring out pepper like this. <laughs> Look at him. Ding. <laughs> oh no. Hey. Food looks amazing. What are we eating? That's genius. Ugali. Skuma. And some meat. So I'm out in the Shamba, the other side of the Shamba, and uh, Pepper's doing pretty good. She's exploring, and Fatso is getting familiarized, hiding from us right now. Um, so hopefully they enjoy being out here. They are originally from here, so it's just getting them back used to this lifestyle, and then once we're settled, we can bring them back home with us, but uh, it's been a good journey. Uh, Mom and Dad have turkeys. Look, they're in there. Oh. They look scary like dinosaurs. So? Yeah, this is Mount Kenya. Malima Kenya is out now. Mm. That's hot. They extended the fence out there. Mm. It's an offensive government. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us about your shop, Victor. Yeah, welcome to Visa Hardware. Yeah, Visa Hardware. She's busy. What's your name? Natasha. Yeah? What grade are you in? Two. Mm. Oh, the shop is so good. What did you learn in school? We, la we don't learn anything. We just draw 
Do I look cool? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just a vibe at school. Oh, this is theirs? Yes. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's looking good. Big time and winter. It, looks it looks good. Yes, yes. Salimia Adra. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Yeah, for you. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Well, we got some crayons and paper. Oh. So, Namiki is a really small town. There's time we come again, we will show you guys some more but uh we decided to stay the night since it was pretty late we were unprepared to stay uh so we won't be able to show you around java um one of the most pop more popular places to be coming especially with family and kids so and also i see that they got the welcome your home thing <sighs> You have finished? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Love us with... Mm. 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 Smile has a smile. Yeah. <laughs> so we made it back home, we got some rest, learned a lot of stuff, um, and now we're gonna go get the car washed. <laughs> Guys, you mind if we sit there? Yeah, go ahead. Drop all that. What are you doing? 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 What are Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Super clean. Yeah, it's so clean. It's nice. It smells good too.
<laughs> yeah.